This video is to introduce you to Google Forms. Uh, some of you may have used them before, but some of you may have not, and I want you to be familiar with the most basics of the Google Form. First of all, how do you create a Google Form? You come into your Google Drive, and just like with other Google tools, you basically have two options. Clicking on the waffles over here, the nine dots, you will find a Google Form option somewhere in that list. And you can also come over to New and just choose Google Forms. It will open up a blank form for you. This is what a blank one looks like when you begin. What are the most basic things on here that you should be familiar with? And what should you do right away? The very first thing is, let's give it a title. So I'm going to call this our sample form. Once I title it here, it will also become the form title. So those will stay the same for me. You can type a description if you want, uh, letting recipients know the intent of the form or maybe giving them a little information about how the results will be used or how long it's going to take to complete the form if that's an issue. Uh, or you can leave the form description blank. On the other side, you have the basic toolbars here. There aren't a lot of tools for Google tool, for Google Forms, and some of these we're not going to look at this time. Some of them are for more advanced uses or for uses that we don't use a lot here at River Street. The things I do want you to be familiar with, though, let's look at those. The first is the paint palette, and that is to customize your theme. How does your form look? All forms start with this light purple background, dark purple borders. You can change that. You can choose an image from the ones that they provide you, or you can upload something new right now. First, let's look at themes. There are just various themes, and there's not a ton of them, but enough to get you started. And if I want to choose this one because it seems bright and colorful, that will become the new header for my form. You'll see that the background and the bars across the top of the areas change color as well because they're matching a color in that image. Over on the right, I can choose different theme colors. I can go with a grayish color, the blue color, or the more pinkish color, whichever color I would like to use. And depending on what I select here, I also can darken the background color or make it pretty generic. And I can have that option with all of the ones that I choose. Finally, I have my font style. There aren't a lot of styles. I've got basic, decorative, formal, and playful. Those are your four choices, your only four choices. Before we leave the theme options for making your form look pretty, I did promise to come back to one option, which is to upload your own photo. You can do that if you have something that you want that is not one of their built-in headers. Maybe you want something that includes your Bitmoji or something that's more relevant to the form that you're creating. So you can create that and then upload it. So the first step of that is creating it. And for that, we're going to go to Google Slides, which we've already learned about, and we know how to manage graphics in Google Slides. And this particular slide is already set in the size and shape that works for the header of a Google Form. And I will link you to this document down below the video. I will also include it as a link in our Google Classroom so that you can have access to this particular template. Once you have this template, you just need to find a graphic that you can fit in there. Now, I'm going to grab this one that I have downloaded, of the Google Icons, just because that relates to our class. But you might have one that's some different size or shape. What you need to do is to fit it into this square as best you can. And it may not fit exactly. Now this comes pretty close to fitting. But yours might not. Yours might be much smaller. And in that case, you would just center it on the, on the form. Let's say you just need it to kind of center something. Move it to the center if you can. If you need to crop something, you can. You learned all about managing graphics already. So get it looking the way you want, fitting into this form. Once you've got that, you will download that 
as a PNG file. Once you've downloaded it as a PNG, you can come to your form and then you can just drag it right in there. And that will become the new header for your form. It will take the place of the jelly beans up there. Now, your theme colors will adjust because it's still trying to pick up the colors and the graphic that you select. So you will still need to make some of those adjustments accordingly. But now you have a form header that is specifically chosen by you to match the kinds of questions you're going to ask. So that's a final piece in setting the theme for your Google form. So now I want to come here and delete all of this just to get us back to our most basic theme and then we can work from there. Next up is the eyeball. As you work on your form, clicking this will just give you a preview. This is what it will look like to the people that you send it to. So if you just want to know how your form is shaping up, you can click that and then click back out of that. And the final area will be the send option. We'll look at that at the end. How will we send out our form once we've completed it? The other thing to look at here is this little toolbar on the side. This is how you will work your way through your form. So we've got our title. It's a sample form and we're waiting for question one. These will allow you to add questions so that you can continue to add questions. As you add questions, you will see as you hover over them, there's little six dots there that lets you drag and change the order of the question. You can import questions. If you have a similar form that you've used in the past, you can click import questions. It will show you other forms that you've created. You can select one and then you can choose which questions from that form would you like to bring into this form and make a part of this form. You can certainly modify them and edit them. It doesn't have to be word for word, but it will pull them in and let you do that. This allows you to add titles and descriptions. If you just need more titles and descriptions along the way, maybe you're breaking your form into sections. And so you want a second section and a description of the types of questions that will be found in this section. You can add images to a question. If you want to provide a reference, everyone take a look at this photo and then answer the following questions. The same with a video. You can watch a video and you can add a completely new section to the quiz. And the benefit of adding multiple sections we will talk about in our second video. What else should you know about a question? There are lots of different types of questions. We'll review those in a minute. You can always duplicate a question, you can delete a question, you can make a question required, and you have some other options here that we will talk about in video number two. So those are the basics of setting up a Google Form. Now let's move forward. We'll look at the question types, creating the questions, and then finally, how do you share this form with others?